if talking to people about Christ taught me anything, it has shown me that people don't really know why they believe what they believe. They just know that they got a problem with Jesus for whatever reason. Sometimes I'll go up and ask, like, hey, what do you know about Jesus? Like, when I say Jesus, what comes to mind? And some may reply and say, well, I'm not religious. I would then reply and say, me either. And then obviously they will look at me crazy because aren't you a Christian? What do you mean you're not religious? So then I ask them, well, what do you mean by religious? What is religious to you? So my answer, well, I don't go to church every Sunday. I don't read my Bible. I don't do these things, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Right? And yes, as a Christian, yes, you go to church. It's a common ground for believers and non-believers alike to, one, learn more about God. I mean, we don't know everything as Christians, but there's something that he's teaching us throughout our entire lives on this earth. So you don't have to be a Christian to go to church, but that's beside the point. They are truly in belief that being a Christian requires a routine. And I think most Christians also think the same thing, right? That I need to be reading my Bible every day, which is also beneficial, yes. I need to go to church every Sunday, also beneficial, yes. But that is not the basis of our Christianity. The basis of our Christianity is Christ, period. The finished work of Christ and what we believe in. He lived, he taught, he died, and he resurrected. Those four things shifted the entire world, honestly. He could have lived, he could have taught, he could have died. But what made him so different compared to any other belief system is that he resurrected. And there were over 500 witnesses, eyewitnesses, who saw the resurrected Christ. And to this very day, it has not been refuted. Not a single secular or religious scholar has come to the conclusion that this did not happen. And if they did say that didn't happen, then they would be a liar. So what I explained to them is why I believe what I believe. It has absolutely nothing to do with what my pastor told me. It has absolutely nothing to do with me showing up to church on Sunday. It has nothing to do with me reading my Bible. It has everything to do with me knowing the one true and living God. And the way that I knew him is I just simply received him in my heart as my Lord and Savior. Did I know everything about Jesus Christ when I received him as my Lord and Savior? Absolutely not. But do I know a whole lot more than the first day I received him? Absolutely, yes. There is something so unique and so beautiful about the gospel that no other belief system has. Where other belief systems tell you you have to do these certain things in order to get attention from your deity. Whether that be sacrificing your children, sacrificing your hair, sacrificing anything, honestly. Uh, he was the sacrifice. Like, Jesus was the sacrifice. I can't name a single God that laid his life down willingly to lower himself to be a human being, live out a full human experience, even with the deity that was still in him, and withheld himself to then die a sinner's death, knowing that he was innocent the entire time? Crazy. And to think that he had me in mind. I didn't understand that when I was Muslim. But now I have a better understanding as a believer. I still don't know why he died for me, but I'm glad he did. Because baby, if I had to die for my sins, there was no resurrection for me. <laughs> it's just something so unique about Jesus that transcend any belief out there. A God that will reach to you instead of you reach to him. It's like he thought about you before you even thought about him. And he made a way for you to get back to him. Because what separated us was sin. And there was no good works that we can do to get back to heaven. But he said, you know what? I'm going to take that one on the chin for you. You get the get out of jail free card. Because I'm going to take your place. And I'm going to show you how to live this out. And not only am I going to show you, I'm going to walk with you. And I'm going to be with you. And that is the type of God I will serve. Yeah. <laughs>